Good day friends. Welcome to my video on using AI for long term investing. We have come a long way and covered to our, we have completed close to 70 videos, uh, 69 videos to be precise. These are the different topics which I have covered so far, like um, how to analyze fundamental letters, how to do qualitative research like analysis of management discussion section, auditors report, then in the fundamental analysis, how to do financial statement analysis, ratio analysis, financial modeling, all those kind of things. And in the last couple of videos, we discussed about financial forensics. How good are the numbers which is shown in the financial statements? How to detect any fraud, manipulation and so on. Maybe uh, last seven, eight videos was dedicated for that. And now we move to uh, technical analysis, something which many of you could have been waiting for. And in this video, I'll be covering the uh, prompting for basic analysis but before we move to the uh, topic uh, let me tell my background or what i'm going to cover on technical analysis let me tell you i am an academician i know everything about not everything i know most of the part about technical charts indicators all that but i do not do day trading nor am i a practitioner of it i am a core fundamental investor however i use charts for some indications, some price points, entry points, exit points, and so on. So that is a very basic level which I'm using. I am not a day trader. So I'm not a core chartist. Okay, my knowledge is limited to uh, academic level about different chart patterns, indicators, and so on. So whatever I talk now in the subsequent videos about technical analysis cannot be used for day trading. However, AI and prompting can be Customized to do day trading, but I'm not the right person for that. Mainly, what I'll be looking is when I get into a company, how does the chart look for last one year? That is exactly what I try to uh, figure it out. So that is what we are going to so see in this uh, discuss in this video, prompting for doing this. Then a technical view after fundamental analysis. If a company gets through by fundamental filters, and I'm uh, happy to go ahead with the investing. I just want to take a technical view to see where the uh, stock is currently at so that we will see in the uh, next videos and there are or i am interested in a few um, indicators like bollinger bands moving averages and relative strength indicators which i have been using for quite a few uh, years so we'll be seeing how to do prompting for that so i don't know i'm, I'm sure many of you must be uh, experts or even lions in this uh, when it comes to technical analysis but still, for some who may need to know the basics, I just cover you the basics of how to get the charts for analysis. As in the previous videos, I'll be taking the example of Carborundum Universal and Gensol Engineering. So you go to Money Control, search for Carborundum Universal, pick up this uh, tech chart and go for a one-year view. Pick up the one-year view and expand it. Once you expand it, you get the um, one-year full Charts, candlestick patterns. Okay, then, then put that into an image, and that image is what you see in this PowerPoint. I have done it already for Carborundum and similarly for Gensol Engineering. And the prompting goes this way. I'm going to say you are a professional technical analysis. I have provided you a one-year stock chart. I want the following inferences: like what is the current market status, trend analysis, what are the primary trends, secondary trend. The support and resistances, volume analysis, is there any pattern? And trading strategy. I want a trading strategy. What are the entry conditions, stop loss, all that? And what is the general uh, this thing like whether it's a bullish approach or bearish approach? Different strategies I want. Risk analysis and critical decision points. Finally, followed by some actionable conclusion. It's of no use that you gather all the inferences, but you don't know what to do next. So some actionable insights and uh, some instructions about uh, how the output should be like uh, price levels and percentages include both bullish and um, bearish scenarios and so on so this prompt i'll be sharing in my as a downloadable um, downloadable word file in my learning hub you can download it later so here we go now to the prompting part i have already uploaded kumi uh, carburant chart one year chart and this is the prompt whatever you saw just now let us run it now so 
current market price is 92.36 it is around 2% less than the previous uh, close volumes trading phase deep corrective or oversold bounce phase after major decline so this is something which will make me of interest when i look into a one year chart it is in a deep corrective phase fine trend analysis primary trend bearish it's a major decline it has fallen down, it has come down from uh, 1700 to 900 odds secondary down uh, secondary phase secondary trend there is a corrective uh, bounce phase which is possible price action what has happened earlier there was a massive rally from 1100 to 1750 and a sharp correction almost uh, losing whatever it gained and current both attempting to establish higher lows okay then different support levels and resistance levels immediate medium and the major levels then the volume analysis high volume during the decline confirms selling pressure breakout requirements above average volume needs to be break above 1000 resistance then trading strategy so what is the entry conditions so since i told i'm not into trading for all this but i don't give much importance for the sake of prompting and for the use by other followers i am just shared that in the prompt risk assessment and what are the key levels to watch for what 800 is the absolute support and any breakdown beyond this will be very much bearish action conclusion alternative scenarios immediate action items monitor this level closely watch for volume expansion on any breakout overall bias neutral to slightly bearish the stock is in corrective bounce phase but lacks strong volume confirmation so it is not able to move up and the volume is not supporting it for recommended approach wait for volume confirmed breakout above 1000 for bullish trades or below 900 for bearish trades avoid aggressive positioning so this is something which as a trader somebody would be in, uh, interested for the insights but for me i just pick up a few points which are more important to understand what has happened over the last one year rather than an investing perspective now let me approach the gensol engineering one year gensol engineering gensol engineering this is one year Gensol NG, uh, stock chart of Gensol Engineering using the following structured approach. Ideally, we should get a lot of negative triggers or negative uh, pointers about Gensol. Okay. Whoever knows currently about Gensol Engineering can see like there are a lot of recent red candles and gap down openings indicating panic selling and institution exodus. Institution investors are leaving the company. Then it has a lot of uh, numbers. But see, Gensol is in a deep problem now and corporate governance issues. It's not a, no way a kind of recommendation. I just want to create a contrast between two scenarios. One was carburetor and another was Gensol engineering, which we have been doing right from uh, some around last year. 15 20 videos so i am continuing the same for the technical analysis okay it is telling avoid new shots key respective key levels so this i primarily don't use for any investment decisions this is just a catalog view like you go to your hotel see the menu card and then decide your item so same way i just see how the company has been perform for last one year before i do further analysis so in my next video i cover how i would that's a more crispier version on how to gather inferences for uh, technical inferences post your fundamental analysis by till then